Today I'd like to talk to you about Art Prize. <laughs> Greetings to all those who love and appreciate art. I'd like to give you a little bit of insight today into a big event that's coming up this year. And this event is called Art Prize. As you could imagine with a name like Art Prize, it is a huge art event that awards a prize of money to artists, hence Art Prize. How do you get that money? Do you care about that money? It's this big event. It takes place over 18 days and it's always in the same place. It's in this little Midwestern city called Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's incredibly open in terms of who can participate. Basically, if you got like 50 bucks to register online, you can be an art prize. It's really that selective or not. If you can get online and register, and if you have something that you want to display, you can be in this tremendously huge art competition. So the whole idea of Art Prize is they turn this entire downtown area into this almost three week bacchanalia of public art. In order to do that, they convert darn near everything downtown into a potential gallery, so to speak. And once that happens, the public kind of flocks in. It's, it's a big event. For three weeks downtown in Grand Rapids, there are thousands and thousands of people walking around, treating basically every open public venue as their own personal museum. There's artwork in churches. There's artwork on street corners. There's artwork everywhere. And it's all supplied by regular Joes and Marys and people like you and me. One of the things that really draws people into this competition is that Art Prize awards money, like big old chunks of money. So it's not just that you can say, hey, look at my work. No, actually, if it's light enough, you could win a big ass check or a smaller check. How is that money doled out though? They wanted this to be a, a democratic process. So they don't have MFA graduates and art critic walking around judging everything. The primary awards are actually doled out based on public voting. You get to vote for whatever pieces you want to win and the ones that get the most votes get the moolah. Well, first and foremost, I'm putting this out a few days before the registration period opens for artists for this year's event. So this is the time to get into that. This is the time to get online and start creating your entry. This is the time to make it happen. Every year on April is when you have to register for the Falls event. But I also bring it up because I, I have some personal experience with Art Prize. I was actually born and raised in Grand Rapids. I have a lot of family that still lives there. My mother and my father still live there. So I have a lot of ties to Western Michigan. Now, Art Prize wasn't going on when I was a kid. Uh, they didn't really have running water or electricity when I was a kid, but now they have Art Prize going and it's a thing. And several years ago, I said to myself, well, I just started really doing this painting thing. And I said, okay, well, you know, I heard about this Art Prize thing. I was like, wow, they have this huge event that sprung up in the last 10 years or so, and it sprung up in my hometown. And I wanna show people my art, and I wanna be famous, and I wanna scorn the world and tell them to leave me alone as I get millions of dollars, and what better way to do that than to be an art prize? And hell, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone because, you know, your mom and dad are always like, when are you coming home? When are you gonna come visit us? So. This way I could do them both. In 2017, I think, I was a participant in Art Prize. My art was on display. In fact, it's on display right now. That is what I had at Art Prize. Give you a little more view of that, although I know it's blurry. That's what I had entered into the competition. I was a participant one year. I certainly know 
Grand Rapids like the back of my hand. And it was interesting. If you are anywhere in or around Western Michigan in the fall during the three weeks or so when this event takes place and you would like art even a little bit, then yeah, attend. I mean, by all means, go. I don't know why you wouldn't go. If I still lived in Western Michigan, whether I was participating every year or not as an artist, I would absolutely go every year. It's, it's a huge event. It's fun. It's festive. It's really invigorating to see all of these public spaces transformed into galleries before your eyes. So absolutely go. For three weeks, it becomes this great open venue for artists and all those who love art. There's performance art, there's outdoor displays, there's of course art plastered off every single spot of wall space. Every time you walk into a restaurant or every time you go to hit the can or whatever, it doesn't matter, art's everywhere. And unless your soul is empty, why wouldn't you love that? It's really cool. You don't have to go for the three weeks. Nobody does. I mean, you can go for a week, go for a day, just, you know, fly in for a day or two and just, you could literally spend several days going from one venue to the next, to the next, to the next, just walking through everything and watching all the displays and checking out all the new creations. And it's, it's pretty cool. So you might be wondering, well, but do I really want to participate? And that's, that's a more nuanced response. If I were a betting man, I would shove a lot of chips into the middle of the table betting that you won't win a freaking dime at art prize. That's not an insult to you, but it's the fact that it's a huge competition. So even if you're an amazing artist, and I believe you are, I'm following your YouTube channel and I'm checking you out on Instagram and I know you're doing good stuff, but still that doesn't mean that I would bet on you winning anything at art prize. There are only a handful of prizes to be doled out. They don't hand out a hundred prizes or 200 prizes of 500 or a thousand dollars each. They tend to concentrate them into larger awards. So unless you come in first or second or third somewhere, you're probably not going to get any award money, prize money for participating in art prize. I know that the dollar value gets advertised about all these financial prizes that will be doled out to the winners of every event. And there's nothing wrong with dreaming about that, but let's just be realistic here. You could get a hundred thousand dollars, but you're probably not gonna. And that's no indictment on you or your art, your skills. It's just a matter of maths. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't care at all about winning. Everyone would like some money, right? And you can't help but wondering. Now I participated one year, so I'm not going to try to sound like I am the subject matter expert in all things art prize, but I can tell you some things that you need to keep in mind. If you really want to have a realistic goal of winning something at art prize, This is something that they don't necessarily tell you when you are not in Grand Rapids and you're thinking about, should I make the trip to Grand Rapids and participate in this event? But remember I said that they turn the entire downtown area and even satellite areas into de facto galleries and museums. But what it also means is that art is spread out everywhere. The public. The attendees, the average Joes are voting on whether or not your art should win a prize. Do you think that the average Joe walking through art prize one day on a Saturday morning is hitting every single venue where all this stuff is? And some of those places are huge. Some of them would take you several hours just to walk through. And some of those places are a little bit geographically dispersed so you couldn't even walk from one to the other. You'd have to get in your car. The point is that there's a lot of venues, but it also means that you can't really expect most people to see all of the art. In fact, I'm sure that almost no one sees all of the art. So what do they see? Well, they see the stuff in the big venues. They see the stuff in the very easily accessible, 
very large public spaces. For example, if you are in downtown Grand Rapids, there is a hotel there that's been there for decades. It's called the Amway Grand. That hotel is smack dab right downtown. And it has a bunch of open spaces where they showcase some of the art. And of course, that stuff gets a ton of attention because if you're even going to attend Art Prize for just a few hours, you will make a point to go downtown and walk through the lobby in the ancillary spaces of the Amway Grand. So damn near everyone who attends Art Prize is going to see the stuff that's on display in the Amway Grand. There's another building down there. They call it the Bob. And Bob literally stands for Big Old Building. It's got restaurants and got some entertainment spaces and such, but it is this big old building. It's like three or four stories tall with a basement. And because it's right downtown, it's literally a block from the Amway Grand, it's also a major venue for Art Prize. If you get your stuff in the Bob, you'll get a lot of viewers. You get a lot of votes. Hell, even if your art sucks, you'll get a lot of votes because everyone's going to see it and someone's going to like it, right? The point is that you can be in some of these prime venues. And if you're in these prime venues, you're going to get a ton of eyeballs. And if you're getting a ton of eyeballs, you're just going to get more votes. But not everyone can be in those venues because they only have so much floor space. They only have so much wall space. So you might not get in the Amway Grand. You might not get in any major place downtown. When I signed up, I didn't actually understand this dynamic of the venues. I didn't know how important it was. So I registered and I think I was a few weeks late to actually try to get myself a venue because there's this process where the artist registers and then they try to basically find a venue that will show their art. Well, if you want to be at the Amway Grand or if you want to be at the Bob or if you want to be at any other large venue in downtown Grand Rapids, you pretty much have to be hammering that thing on the exact day or hour or minute when the registration opens. In fact, quite frankly, you probably need to be talking to these venues personally before the registration even begins because the venues can accept or deny anyone that they want. They don't have to put your art on the wall. It's not randomly assigned. So if I knew the manager at Amway Grand, I could ensure that my stuff would be shown in one of the spots at the Amway Grand. But if you're just rando dude off the internet, then you kind of need to do some networking or something if you want to be in one of those spots. And if you don't, you're not going to get a prime spot. And if you don't get a prime spot, you're not going to get as many eyeballs. And if you don't get as many eyeballs, you won't get as many votes. And if you don't get as many votes, you're not going to win at Art Prize. You could have the finest new piece of art ever created by mankind in the last 50 years. But if it's at some crappy venue that's three blocks off of downtown, you're not going to win anything at Art Prize. When I signed up, I ended up with my stuff at this place on the west side of town called the Mitten Brewery or Mitten Brewing Company. And to be fair, if anyone from that place is watching, please know that the, the venue was awesome. I, I love the folks there. It's this brewery and they make great pizza. And so it's great food and great drink. And at first I thought, oh, this is awesome because I'm gonna be in this great venue and, and all these people are gonna see my stuff. And they did. They put that on the wall right over one of the tables where everyone's eating their pizza and drinking their beer and it got seen on some level by everyone who walked in their establishment for three weeks but a lot of people walking in their establishment for three weeks were just there to eat pizza and drink beer because it wasn't really part of the traditional art prize area a lot of people walking in weren't there just to see art prize stuff they were there to eat pizza and drink beer and who can blame them so a lot of people saw my stuff, but that doesn't mean I got many votes. Hell, I don't know if I got any votes. I don't know if you can actually see the votes, but I don't know if I got any votes or not. I don't care really, but the point is that I was never going to win at Art Prize by being at the Mitten Brewing Company. That's not a knock at all at the Mitten Brewing Company. You folks were awesome. Loved it, sat there multiple nights, drank, had a good time, and they were very accommodating to me. But it's not what's going to propel you to winning art prize. 
Even if you have the greatest venue, also keep in mind that the stuff that wins votes has very little to do with the intrinsic value of your art. It has so much more to do with what is the spectacle of your art. And you don't have to take my word for it. Go to the Art Prize site, look at the past winners year by year by year. If you created this amazing postage stamp painting like this, that's one of the most awesome paintings ever created in the history of man, do you think that you would win Art Prize? <gasps> no. No, you won't. Not even close. Nobody will care. Nobody will vote for you because for the average dude walking through some public venue just looking at stuff on the wall and saying, mm, that's neat. I don't really like that so much. He doesn't really focus on the little stuff. He doesn't even focus on the medium-sized stuff. He focuses on the huge freaking things. So if you look at what's won art prize by the public votes almost every year, it's almost always big freaking stuff. Stuff that takes up an entire wall or stuff that takes up an entire room. It's spectacle. Spectacle gets people's attention. They go, oh my gosh, look at what this person did. It might be Legos that you put together, but if you put together a hundred thousand Legos in an amazing Lego display, you might get a whole bunch of votes because everyone will look at it and go, oh my gosh, look at all the Legos and all the time it took to do this. But if you had the most amazing artistic skill in the history of man, but you put it into a painting like this, nobody is going to go through Art Prize and vote for your stuff. That's just the plain simple truth. And the last thing that really gets you votes in Art Prize is your subject or your media, especially the subject. The year that I was participating, the number one top winner by public vote was first of all hosted in the Amway Grand Lobby. You've heard me talk about that already. Right in the Amway Grand Lobby. All kinds of eyeballs, all day, every day, looking at this art. What art was it? Was it a deeply introspective piece about the state of man in the 21st century? No, it was a bunch of carved out dogs that were service dogs for veterans wooden carved out service dog statue things now to be clear if that sounds bitter it's they're nice dogs i mean they're really nice but the key wasn't so much how well were the dogs carved out of the wood it wasn't how well they were staged in the display it was that everyone said oh my gosh our armed forces and these are service dogs to help them and oh my grandpappy was in world war seven and oh my gosh we i got a vote for this and my uncle joe was a firefighter and he died in nam and no oh, we got yeah we gotta love this mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's that's some good stuff vote away vote away mm, yeah give it all the votes all the votes yep he knew that was gonna win it was big because there's all these big ass carved dogs all over the place and it's tugging at your heartstrings because they're service dogs they're helping people that have been wounded and maimed and oh and you know who they're helping not just anyone because you know you don't deserve to be helped no they were helping someone who served our country they served our country so now we gotta we got we gotta vote for these dogs because these dogs yeah that's that's good art right there mm-hmm yeah a couple years before there are a bunch of art critics going nuts about the winner because several years before there's this big old mosaic of Jeebus. And you tell you what Midwest America loves. I'll tell you what Grand Rapids love. They love them some Jeebus. Mm -hmm. Jeebus. Jeebus America. Jeebus America. Yeah, that's, that's what Jeebus is about. That's what America's about. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta love. And that's what you gotta vote for when you go to Art Prize. So of course it won. It was huge. It was a mosaic. It was all like lit up and stuff. And it's Jeebus. It's Jeebus on the cross. Of course it was going to win. So this happens year after year. I'm not complaining. It may sound like I'm bitter or something. I, I don't care. I'm just telling you so that you understand that if you're not in the right venue, you're not going to win art prize. If you have not done something of significant size, you are not going to win art prize. And if you have not done something that kind of 
tugs at the heartstrings of middle American good old people, then there's a good chance you're not going to win our prize. I don't want to make it sound like every art competition or every art display is just about winning. Sure, it'd be nice if you got in first place or second place. It'd be nice if they stroked you a big old check, right? But of course, there's a lot more that you can get out of any event. And in this case, the event is massive. There's thousands and thousands of people there. So forget winning. I mean, wouldn't you just want to be there as an artist? When I went there, I was really, I didn't have any delusions about I'm going to win art prize, but I was really thinking more like, can I meet other artists? Can I meet other gallery owners? Can I meet people that are in the art community? And the answer was eh, not, not so much. I mean, I'm not saying that doesn't happen there, of course, but just like getting into the venues is, is a tiered system and you have to have the right contacts. Well, even getting into the events where you can meet the right people to sell your art or display your art or, or just, to, just to further your art career, even those you have to be in the right places and you have to have the right contacts. And it's not just so easy as signing up online. My stuff was up there for two and a half weeks. And I met some great people. I mean, the bartenders at the Mitten Brewing Company were awesome. <laughs> and we had a great time drinking the beers and talking about the Tigers. That was fun. Did it do anything to further my art career? <laughs> no, of course not. Did anyone walk in that place in two and a half weeks who actually in any way furthered my artistic endeavors? It, no, no. They didn't. I know that if you are properly connected, there are massive opportunities to be had at Art Prize. You got to dig that stuff up because it's not just going to come to you. And it can be challenging because there's thousands of people around here all into this art, but that doesn't mean any of them are there to look at your stuff. It doesn't mean any of them there know who you are. It doesn't mean anyone who's there gives a flying rats behind about anything you've done. So I'm sure that there are amazing opportunities to network at Art Prize and to gain new insight and colleagues in the art community, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it because I'm just not tied in that way. And you may not be either unless you already have some of those contacts. So keep that in mind. <laughs> like everything else with art, that's a very personal question, right? The question is, what do you want to get from Art Prize? I went in 2017, and despite the fact that my family is from West Michigan, I actually haven't participated since. It's not because. I had a bad experience at Art Prize. It's not because I have any problem with Art Prize. It's just because I went through the whole thing for a few weeks and said, eh, some people saw my painting. That's great. I got some compliments, but at the end of the day, was it anything that really propelled me forward as an artist? No. Could it be? I, I guess it could be. I, it depends on how you use it. Art Prize is not going to smack you in the face with the opportunities. And you might think it would, because you might think thousands of people attending and thousands, hundreds of artists and uh, the opportunities are just going to trample me. And, and, and no, no, they won't. You still, you still got to find them. You still got to look for them because at the end of the day, it's still a bunch of clicks and it's a bunch of people that are in or out and you still got to figure out how to navigate that so if you go into that with eyes wide open and you want exposure as much as artists hate that word if you want exposure of course you can get that at our price for an incredibly cheap price if you want to meet other like-minded artists i'm sure you can do that but it's going to take some effort if you're looking to sell your art or get placed in a gallery i'm sure you can do that too but i think that's going to take even more effort and if you want to win at art price it's going to take a lot more effort and a lot of luck if you go there thinking 
that the amazingness of your art will be recognized just because you have amazing freaking art, then grow the hell up. That ain't gonna happen. If you think that you're gonna get all these contacts and people are gonna come wanna talk to you just because you have your painting on a wall in a brew house, that's, that's not gonna happen. Like every other networking opportunity, even if a million people are there, you still gotta network. You gotta talk to people. You just gotta get out there because as amazing as Art Prize is as a venue and as an event, it's not going to magically do the work for you. But go, at least attend, check it out because it's really cool to see hundreds of artists with thousands of pieces of work all over the place transforming an entire city center for three weeks. And if you got something you want to display, then do it. You know, put a, your painting somewhere, find a venue that will host you. It's not hard to find a venue, it's just, it's just hard to find the choice venues because that's a whole other level of fanciness right there. But if you just want to be in it and you don't care where your stuff is at, you, you can be in it. That's not a problem. Go, experience it. It's a good experience. And I recommend any artist that can, that can get to Grand Rapids does it once in their life at least. Subscribe or like. Like's good too. Like's actually likes better. Just like, subscribe and like. I don't care what you do. Do it all. Hook a ginger up. I'm glad you tuned in and I appreciate you being here. Put something in the comments. Let me know if you've been to Art Prize. Let me know what your experience was. Let me know if you're going back. Or if you have other specific questions about my experience when I was in Art Prize, let me know. I don't know if I can answer all your questions, but I can at least give you whatever information I have. So thank you again for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next video.